Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the day of the video, Diane. How's it going today? Today we are heading out to work. It's quarter past, about five minutes early, which is why I'm talking to you now in the morning. Um, I've done my washing up. I've I'm dressed <laughs> for a meeting. Oh yeah. And yeah, I just didn't want to get up this morning. That was the mistake of staying in bed till ten yesterday. Getting up four hours earlier today it was hard going. And I'm not gonna lie, without the backup alarm over there. I might have slept through that one because apparently that went off three times and then that one went off. <laughs> Bit of a deep sleeper. Um, I'm looking for, I need you guys help actually, I'm looking for a camera mount for my car, right, so that I can put you in the car and talk to you while I'm driving. Specifically because I'm going back to Nottingham soon so I kind of want it before then, so I kind of want it this week. <laughs> so I don't know how, I'm probably not going to pull that off. Um, but. Oh, every one I've seen, you just kind of screw the camera on, so you just kind of screw it onto the top like that and just like whizzle it around, which is shit. I want something like that so I can just have like a little pad that I screw this onto and then this attaches to that. I want a quick release plate. Does anyone know? Can anyone help me out? There. Otherwise I'm going to have to try and, I might try and put my gorilla pod in. But yeah, anyway, today's going to be a weird Monday because we're going to be in the head office for a while. Um, I'm also not going shopping when I get back. I'm cooking up a pizza and then I'm going to be working on other stuff. I'm working on turning this place into a worky place instead of somewhere that I just associate it with chilling out, basically. So I'm trying to bring my work home, well not work work home, but I'm trying to bring my work mentality home to this chair, um, which is something that I've been failing to do for the past however many weeks. Um, but I'm not going shopping tonight because I went on Saturday. Um, I'm also not going swimming tonight because <coughs> I wasn't very good at that swimming club. Nowhere near fit enough to jump into something like that. But I'm going to go swimming tomorrow. I'm going to walk up to the swimming pool that's quite close to me. Quite close. It's about half an hour walk away. That'd be my warm up. And then half hour swim, come back. Half hour walk back. And all that kind of stuff. I need to work on my legs. But yeah, anyway. Um, let's roll. Just got in the car and realised I'm leaving 10 minutes earlier than schedule. <laughs> I normally get, I normally leave at um, half past, not 20 past. But I'm going to try and set this up then. Because I've got 10 minutes to spare. Won't work, they're too glossy. It's too slippy up here. I was trying to like get some kind of combo where it would you put your leg in the legs in there and then wrap it round, but it's way too slippy. Not gonna happen, unfortunately. We're gonna need a suction cup mount. I just need one with a quick release plate on it so that I don't have to screw and unscrew the camera. I just want to be able to put the camera on there and then just take it off every time. So, does anyone have any ideas? Anyone have any solutions? Because this gorilla pod. <laughs> Is not happening for me. Right, well, it's nearly half past anyway, so we'll go now officially. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back from work, <laughs> and it's been a fun day. Uh, I apologise if I veer off into some kind of rant. Uh, I'm bringing my spare camera battery with me today. Um, but yeah, I can only apologise if that happens because today's been one of them days. I'm actually going, <laughs> to, I'm currently right this very second, walking to Josh's. For a rant. <laughs> so I apologise if I bleed that into this conversation with you now. What's been going on today then, eh? Um, today has been a pretty... Sorry, I'm just... Hiccuping? No, I'm not. It's gone, I think. <sighs> okay. Today's been a pretty weird day. Today at work. Um, the first, like, hour or so was a bit weird because the, uh, the company's rebranded. It's rebranded itself now, which is weird and a bit strange um yeah we've casually decided to to drop certain brands bring different brands up so a new brand is now taking the limelight instead of we've always been the brand where we are but we're dropping some of the brands that we've used to like cover the fact that it's us i don't know it's strange like as a brokering system we do insurance brokering um as an insurance broker we are Brightside. um but like the products we sell we don't like we never put brightside in front of the customers essentially now we're putting brightside in front of the customers we're doing all this stuff we changed the logo made it all more modern and stuff and that's all exciting they sent live the new websites all of that it's all great and very exciting um there's actually actually some interesting stuff that might be going on down the road some good opportunities shall we say that may be arising from this rebranding but we will see we will see I'm not going to go into it here um, but that wasn't the main meet of today we then went off into a 
planning meeting in head office and in head office is like it's miles away it's like 15 minute drive from my current place um in the middle of literally nowhere it's not very nice <laughs> i don't like it at all that building um i'm sure i'll get used to it but it's nowhere near as good as mine as mine lysander which is where i currently work um oh gosh god that took a hit on my shins um so yeah that's we went there and they've painted it all orange and all of this and it looks a bit like Sainsbury's and we'll all gloss over that and the logo kind of looks a bit like Amazon's but we'll gloss over that and <laughs> there's just a lot of that kind of stuff um, but we went there for a project planning meeting kind of kind of a let's all figure out if we're all on the same page kind of thing we actually met with a couple of people from the business in inverted commas which was interesting because I've never met them before um, and all that kind of stuff and we had I was like, our project manager, it's a bit of a weird project that we're going into now. Uh, and this is 90% where the rants co like come from today. But that's not why I want to rant. I can't physically rant to you why I want to rant, I'm sorry. Um, that's why I'm going to Josh's. Because I literally have no other option. Like I could rant to Laura, she wouldn't understand it. I could rant to Dad and he'd make out he knows he's been in similar scenarios before and he hasn't. Um, but Josh knows. <laughs> so we'll go and rant to him instead. Um, I've got a bottle of wine with me as well. We're gonna get sloshed. <sighs> I need to buy some wine actually at some point. When is when Sainsbury's doing six bottles of wine, 25% off again? I need to get on that hype, you know? Um, so yeah, <laughs> the... I actually am gonna run out of wine because I need to take a bottle home with me as well, but yeah, YOLO. Uh, so we had this really, really interesting project planning meeting where we, this guy was presenting to us that clearly like doesn't know what he's talking about. And I'm like, I've gone into meetings before where I've blagged it. And I know I've blagged it, but I don't expect people who are managing projects to blag, you know? So we kind of walked into this meeting with zero, literally zero confidence in what we were doing. And we left apparently doing more work and having zero confidence. <laughs> even less than zero confidence in the fact that it's going to get done it's ridiculous they've got like one of our literally we were sat in the room and you could just see going around the circle everyone just kind of their frown getting bigger i'm surprised i don't have like wrinkle marks i'm like constantly thinking all day now for the rest of my life i'm gonna have wrinkles because i've been frowning so much today and just shaking our heads and be like what are you talking about <laughs> it's like it's really really strange and like it's just, oh but yeah, one of the devs from Hoover just turned around and said like, oh, so I, I assume you've got a room full of developers that we don't know about, yeah? God, it's so busy. But yeah, like, we had an idea that we were going to be doing X, Y, and Z, and we're like, right, okay, so we need to get this done by this date. It's going to be tight. We reckon we can just about do it, because we're dropping some things from scope. And then they were like, oh, you've got to do all this as well. We're like, what? What are you talking about? And like, we've got to essentially do an end-to-end -end test of a site that we don't have. Like, we have to finish the end to end, end of the test of the site by like the 12th of May or something, and we're gonna actually get the site on the 20th of May. And like little things like that that just show that like zero planning's gone into this. No, they've just gone, oh shit, well, we're gonna do this by this arbitrary date. What resources do we have? Let's make it happen. No, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> the thing you're trying to do is ridiculous. It's a massive amount of work. Uh, but anyway, that was that. We then came back. We had a meeting about the rebranding, a bit about the move to head office, and we've got no requirements, so we've got to do all this system, but we're developing our own requirements. We're developing our own stuff, which is a shit way of doing it. Developers shouldn't make their own requirements, that's not how it works. I could just develop it to just be like, yeah, okay, if you've got my postcode, half the premium, shit like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wish I was in a much better position to talk about this. So, I, mean, I know, it, like, the more I talk about it, like the more trouble I get into but the less I talk about it the more vague I make it the more trouble I get into because I make it sound worse than it actually is and oh uh, it's just annoying that's why we're going to drive to Josh's so we can both vent how annoying it is like I want to make it clear I have nothing wrong with any I have no bone to pick with any of my immediate management my, my immediate technical term um, like the people I'm closely related to I have no problem with them they're amazing everything outside of that bubble that we're now just being thrown into I don't like <laughs> this is as simple as that really <sighs> but anyway talking shit, dragging saying things I shouldn't say um, let's go <laughs> I don't know where I'm going, I don't even know where he lives I'm just going for a postcode at the moment 
I'm going to be like, so are you going to tell me where you live when I get closer there or what? Is it a surprise? But yeah, otherwise nothing much has been going on in my life. Apart from work today, and it's just wound me up a bit. Um, I mean, honestly, honestly, it isn't even that much of an issue, to be honest. I'm just getting wound up <laughs> and just getting, making, blowing things out of proportion, I think is what I'm doing. I was going to be spending this evening, obviously normally I go shopping today, but I went shopping on Saturday. I was going to spend this evening, like, what was I going to be doing? I was going to be blogging and stuff. I think the plan of attack was do um, my uh, washing, which I normally do on Tuesday. It's probably better if I do it on Tuesday anyway, because that's like my registered day. No one else does washing on a Tuesday, because like you get into a habit of always doing it on the same day. So like Tuesday just naturally became my day. Um, I was going to be doing that today, so I'll, put, I'll do that again tomorrow. And I was going to do some work on stuff, but I'm going to go hang out with Josh. Josh and Corey, and I believe Paddy is going to be there too. I'm legitimately walking about three marathons just to get to Josh's house. It's a lot closer than I thought. Just, uh, look how pretty it is. Except it's really dark. So, uh, good luck. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it's a lot further than I expected <laughs> this bloody walk to be. Jesus. Seventy-five comes this way. Brilliant. I've found a way to bus back. Bloody hell, man. Did not sign up for this shit. I was going to walk to swimming tomorrow. <laughs> I was going to go tomorrow. I'm going to go swimming at a normal pool on my own. And I'm going to try and do half of what they tried to make me do at the club that I failed to do. And I'm going to try and slowly increase that and ramp that up. That's my plan of attack. But I was going to walk there because it's, it's relatively close. It's like half an hour. To be fair, it's quite a long walk, but it's not too, too, too bad. Right, where the hell am I? Where do I need to be? Oh dear, we're having fun navigating here now. Going the complete wrong way. Princess, I thought that said Prince Street. Damn it. <sighs> right, this way still. And then across the train tracks. I've come so far. <laughs> like, legitimately. Yeah, what was I was saying. I'm going to go swim in tomorrow. I'm going to walk up to um, the swim baths. It's about like 30 minute walk, more or less. Um, and then I will go from there, do some swimming, and then come back. And then I could spend like half an hour instead of an hour and a half, or an hour or whatever. Um, but I'm going to try and do about, like, I'm going to make it twice as easy as what that guy said. So I'll maybe do like a, a 100 meter warm up instead of 200. Uh, just stuff like that basically, and just try and keep the pace up. Um, Josh, where do you live, mate? This is the middle of an industrial estate. What are you doing? Do you live in one of these factories? Do you, you fucker? When I signed up for this, I didn't realise I'd need to get a train to Bath. Bloody hell. I've had heroin. <laughs> I've been stabbed. Almost there, mind. It's like half past midnight. And I'm a bottle of wine down. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and make my way home. I'm like 90, 99% sure I'm gonna end up walking on the way home. Oh, that was really good fun. I needed that. I needed just like an opportunity to just vent. Yeah, it's uh, 20 to 1 at the moment. And um, yeah, it's funny because I have jack fucking no idea where I am. I've got no idea at all. All I know is I need to go in that general direction until I see something that looks a little bit like town and then I can get there. Um, it's a school night. It's a Monday. And <laughs> And I've had a bottle of wine. It's not best. It's not really best. It's not very respectable, to say the least. But it looks 24 hour hours today. Ooh. I'm looking for a bus home at the moment. Um, but yeah, uh, it was really, really good, really. It was just me and um, uh, Josh. Corey was going to come, but uh, Corey found out that I basically just wanted to rant about work. So he avoided it, he's gonna go a different day instead. Um, <laughs> I really like Josh, he's a really good lad. He's, he's genuinely the best. Um, so, yeah, I do really like him, he's a good lad. Um, so we literally, we talked about work, we talked about zombie apocalypses, about nuclear and dirty bombs, like you name it, we talked about literally everything. It was a good, it was a good night, it was a good night. <laughs> Even though it was a Monday and, uh, a bottle of wine was involved. Uh, this is really bizarre. 
Like the amount of times I come to this city and complain about how busy it is. Right, okay, where am I going? Think about this. What's the point in going that way and attempting to pick a bus when I can go this way and walk a less distance? There's, no gonna, there's not going to be a bus at this time on a Monday. It's just walk. Just deal with the fact that you're going to walk home. Okay, right. Okay, now we've, sort of, now we've solidified that. Like, I complain about how busy Bristol is. But this place is so quiet. Like, there's literally no one. Pubs are all closed. It's because it's a Monday night. Pubs are all closed. And I'm like... Analyzing. Like, here's the thing, right? When you walk around at this time of night in areas that you're not 100% sure about, you spend, you pay a lot of attention. It may look like I'm relatively drunk, or whatever. And that vibe, blogging, I'm not paying that much attention to the road, but I think that vlogging in public has given me a very good capability to search, and I'm very, very good at spotting like human-like silhouettes and figuring out when is a good and bad time to vlog and all of that kind of crap like I'm extortionately good at just being like, right, there's someone over there it's a bit like when you read the road you don't just read the road in front of you you read the road like, oh, it's that learner all the way, all the way up there, like today like, literally 20 cars ahead of us that's the learner that's causing the issues here I'm gonna go this lane and go around him da -da -da -da. Um, it's kind of like that now Although I am, I'm not going to lie, very, very tipsy. Um, so much concentration goes on my general surroundings and whether I should go through certain areas or whether I should give it a miss or whether I should vlog in certain areas or whether I shouldn't. There's a skill in it. I'm not going to lie. I know I've developed this skill over two or three years. I th I'd, I'd say vlogging is one of those things that makes you hyper alert of your scenario, like your surroundings. The only things that can catch me out are cats. Cats are very good at catching me out. And I think it's because I'm so used to the fact that I can't be caught out that the cats catch me out. Because they just like fucking appear on the top of a field. Like a, a fence or something, just bam. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. But yeah, genuinely, I've really enjoyed tonight. It was really good fun. <laughs> I needed something like that to like zap me back down to earth, I think. Um, I've now only got one bottle of wine left, which is sad because I need the deal to go back up where you get 25% off if you buy six bottles or more. I need that deal in my life. But what can you do, eh? Here we go. Come on, buses, don't be not in service. I don't want to walk all the way. Ah, I'm near the harbour side now. Um, also, another thing to remember, at one o'clock in the morning, everyone you walk past is as scared of you as you are of them, unless you see like a gang of like 10 people or whatever. Um, like if you're walking one-on-one -on -one with someone, you are equally as likely to mug them as they are of you, and therefore they are quite scared of you. Like, it's like spiders. So it's like, as they're walking towards me, I'll analyse them, I'll be like, right, why are you around at one o'clock in the morning? Are you drunk? Are you less or more drunk than me? Okay, right. What, how are you dressed? <laughs> Stereotypes. Legitimately, there are footprints on the floor here out of blood. <sighs> are they going to the hospital? What are, they, what are they doing? Someone's walking barefoot, dripping blood everywhere. They're enough to leave blood footprints. Fucking hell. I assume they're going to the hospital at this point. Um, wow, that's a cool shop. Like a bookshop. Um, but yeah, it's like, at this time of night, short of calculating where you can walk, you're basically safe. <laughs> Touch wood. Touch the fucking last words there, aren't they? Um, like, short of calculating so you don't walk in stupid areas. Like, everyone else is as much scared as I am. So I'm scared of they are. Yeah. Fuck yeah, you know what I mean. And there is nothing like a 45 to an hour long walk to sober the mind. Although I should probably text Lewis and warn him. <laughs> that might be a little bit late tomorrow. But no, it should be late, that'll be fine. I'll survive. Hospital, on the left. We still following the blood prints or no, have they crossed over the road? 
think they've crossed over. <sighs> Good. So I'm not like chasing down a murderer or something, that's okay. Here we are, Gloucester Road. Happy days, clean sailing from here on in. <laughs> I took a cheeky shortcut there between the hospital and Gloucester Road. Risk, it's a risky one. I'm like, it's gonna be worth it at this time of night. Like, if it was like nine, eight or nine. Now you get to the point where you're like one o'clock, like there's a lady over there. Girl there, got a backpack on, hat on. Not a threat. There's no, like, it's rare. Like you get to a certain time of night where you're like, one o'clock, no one's really a threat. Weekday, no one's really a threat. Talking three o'clock, yeah. They've got no logical excuse for being out past that time. That's how I always judge things at least. Like, I can I can guess why half these people are out. Probably because of the same reason I'm out. Three o'clock in the morning, different. Why are you out at three o'clock in the morning? You don't have a good reason to be out at three, I don't even have a good reason to be out at three o'clock in the morning. Have I said this? It's probably nearly two o'clock. Quarter past one, this is way too far to walk. I'm not doing this again. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. But yeah. You get my drift. What's going on tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen? Tomorrow we're going to work at a time. God knows what time. Um, the plan is 8 o'clock in the morning, but to be honest with you, we're just going to be in planning all day tomorrow. So we're going to be in planning all week. It's going to be a boring week. Um, after work, I was contemplating going to snooker and nut swimming. Um, but I'm thinking, after walking 80 miles tonight, to be fair, my shoulders... Like the top of my left shoulder is hurting from swimming so it's like i don't know i don't know um i lean heavily on my left arm which is really weird it's part of me like i was born left-handed but i was taught to be right-handed um like by my dad and whatever he was left-handed but he told me how to be right-handed but like naturally at swimming when i can't breathe <laughs> And I'm gonna die. Um, I lean heavily on my left arm to lift me out of the water to breathe um, and my right arm and legs basically do jack shit and then my arms do all the work. Um, so my left arm particularly like the top of my arm there my shoulder plate there there um, that really that's quite sore that thing but yeah after this walk for five, I've literally walked like two miles worth I think a bus is coming as well but I'm like I'm literally two stops away from where I'd get off. What's the fucking point? If I was gonna get on that bus, I would've got on it a long time ago. Um, but yeah, uh, so, yeah, my arm is quite sore. But I need to do a clothes wash. I need to do X, Y, and Z. I need to do a load of different things. Um, I need to catch up on YouTube videos, since this video is gonna be late, because I'm not gonna be able to sort it out until I'm basically going to get in, I'm going to have a cup of tea, some toast, and go to bed. Um, I've rude the day the last time I got in after a bottle or two of wine and then went to sleep without having any dinner or like a snack or drink or anything. Rue that day, it's not happening again. Um, although to be fair, I'm nowhere near on that level of drunk because I can still cognitively talk to you in a respectable manner. Um, in theory. <laughs> But yeah, this video is going to be late, so tomorrow I think, specifically so we don't lose track of main channel video, of daily vlogs, um, I'm going to be forced to stay in and sort out daily vlogs and stuff, because I'm going to get in at 5, render this, get this uploaded. I might get it uploaded for, in time, in theory, but then yeah. So tomorrow is going to be a relaxed day, I think, of staying in, chillaxing. It's so past my bedtime. I'm so sleepy. A guy over there who's very <laughs> weird <laughs> for lack of a better word but yeah the way i see it if you're out later then a sainsbury's local is open you know what i mean if you walk past the sainsbury's local which is open till 11 and you're out later than that then you've got a question where your life's going <laughs> that's how i roll i'm like mm, sainsbury's is closed it's probably too late for me my bed i'm literally like normally wrapping up for bed by 11 o'clock. It's like nearly half one. I'm not gonna be in bed till two. Oh God, I'm up at six. Yeah, tomorrow is a relaxed day. But yeah, I'm gonna sign off now. I've probably rabbited on long enough. Um, 
been a good day. It's been a good night. Bit of a shit day. Uh, apparently, although I wasn't working on his kind of stuff, um, Josh had a shit day as well. So, yeah, though. <laughs> shit days all around. Um, but yeah, I, this tonight was really good fun. Even though it was essentially just me and Josh just talking, getting intoxicated, um, just drinking alcohol while talking to each other. It was good fun. I enjoyed it greatly. Oh, the walk back, not sure it's worth it. <laughs> but it was good fun nonetheless. Even though it was a school night as well, and I'm up at six tomorrow morning in four hours time. I've done worse. I've done worse than that before, easy. I've been at work at six. I got in at four, haven't I? That's my worst. Daily, lo da 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 daily vlog veterans, you must know. What's my longest night out? And then work the next day. Is it? I'm going to assume it's Christmas time. Turkey runs. Six o'clock in the morning starts. Went out, got probably in at three or four. And then we were at work at six. I think that's the worst I've ever done. So, comparison to that, this is easy. The birds are even awake. <sighs> but anyway, signing off. Tomorrow, a day of planning, and then relaxing, probably catching up on energy. Because I'm an old man. I'm old. I'm not a young hip student that can do this shit all the time. Not anymore. Not that I ever was. I'm just old now. Like granted, I may not stay awake very often. I may not go to sleep early, but I like my beauty sleep these days. Oh, and my God, <laughs> I cannot wait to go to sleep. I'm going to force myself to have a bit of bread and a bit of tea before I go to bed. But otherwise, straight to sleep. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> Tomorrow will hopefully be the kind of day that doesn't involve drinking a bottle of wine. Sounds my like like my kind of day. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck this. I'll catch you later.